Born on April 7, 1915, in Philadelphia, Billie Holiday rose to become one of America's most distinguished songstresses. Her emotive vocals and unique style earned her recognition as the nation's greatest jazz singer. However, the details of her life remain shrouded in uncertainty due to her penchant for embellishing personal narratives. Despite facing numerous challenges, including tumultuous relationships, substance abuse, and racial discrimination, Holiday persevered. She developed a reputation for being fiercely independent and deeply sensitive, traits that resonated in her powerful performances. Throughout her career, Holiday cultivated the mystique of Lady Day, a persona that endures to this day. This captivating music artist's story serves as a testament to her resilience and unwavering dedication to her craft. Billie Holiday's early years were spent in Fells Point, a challenging waterfront neighborhood in Baltimore. Her childhood was marred by abuse and instability, with her mother leaving her behind with abusive relatives while taking a job in New York. Amidst all the hardships, it was Holiday's great-grandmother who offered her solace and love, becoming a cherished figure in her life. Despite the turmoil surrounding her youth, Holiday managed to find comfort and support in her close relationship with her great-grandmother, a testament to her resilience even in the toughest circumstances. This formative period played a significant role in shaping the artist Holiday would become, influencing both her music and her outlook towards life. Billie Holiday's time at the House of Good Shepherd for Colored Girls proved to be a defining moment in her life. This institution offered her a much-needed respite from the hardships she had faced thus far. After being picked up for truancy, she found herself in this Catholic residential facility, a place that would eventually bring some stability into her tumultuous young life. This period marked a significant turn for the music artist. At the House of Good Shepherd, she got baptized and was able to step away from the vicious cycle of abuse and neglect she had been subjected to earlier. However, the institutional atmosphere brought its own set of challenges. Feeling confined by the strict rules and structure, Billy longed for a true sense of belonging and stability she had never known before. Despite these mixed feelings towards the institution, the music artist remained forever thankful for having escaped her previous grim circumstances. Her experiences during her stay helped shape her unique perspective and undoubtedly influenced her artistry in profound ways. As Billie Holiday's adolescent years unfolded, they brought forth a series of trials and tribulations that significantly shaped her young life. Unfortunately, her mother Sadie was unable to care for her, leaving Eleonora to face the challenges of growing up alone. At just 11 years old, Eleonora suffered a horrific rape by a neighbor, marking a dark moment in her early life. Eleonora sought refuge in the Good Shepherd Reformatory after this traumatic event, but did not stay long. Soon enough, she found herself back at home with Sadie. However, it wasn't until later that something truly transformative happened, the discovery of jazz music. This genre changed everything for her. While exploring a local brothel, she stumbled upon the soulful sounds of none other than her idol, Louis Armstrong, playing on a Victrola record player. From then on, he became her ultimate source of inspiration. Jazz took hold of Eleonora, shaping her identity and influencing her future career. Although many notable musicians impacted her artistry, including Bessie Smith, she consistently looked up to Louis Armstrong as her guiding light. Even when facing adversity during those formative years, the power of music provided solace and direction for the budding artist who would become known worldwide as Billie Holiday. At the tender age of 15, Eleonora, later known as Billie Holiday, found herself turning to prostitution due to lack of guidance and support. She started working in Madame Malestine's brothel, but her guardian considered her out of control and urged her to leave Baltimore. In search of stability, Eleonora moved to New York to reunite with her mother, who was employed as a maid. However, even in New York, trouble seemed to follow Eleonora. She and her mother were caught in a Harlem Vice raid and charged with prostitution. Consequently, Eleonora served some time in a workhouse before eventually gaining her freedom. Once released from the military, Billie Holiday made a surprising discovery. She had a knack for singing, which enabled her to earn a living performing in various bars. This marked the start of a new chapter in her life, one where she refined her craft and established herself as a formidable talent. Her hauntingly beautiful voice captivated audiences and earned her widespread acclaim paving the way for a successful career as a jazz singer. Despite facing numerous challenges early in her life, Billy persevered and transformed into a celebrated music artist. Once Eleanor Harris, now known as Billie Holiday, discovered her passion for singing, she knew she had found her true calling. 
she fully embraced the lifestyle that came with being a musician, which included experimentation with various substances. Marijuana was prevalent in the music scene, and those who used it were considered part of an exclusive group known as Vipers. Billy, always eager to push boundaries, quickly developed a high tolerance for all types of substances, including alcohol and marijuana, and later, heroin. These addictions unfortunately took a toll on her health and voice, but they were also a reflection of the times and the culture in which she lived. It is said that Billy initially tried out as a dancer at Pod and Jerry's nightclub, where she was subsequently hired as a singer. However, this tale might be more myth than truth. What we do know for certain is that, in early 1933, white jazz writer and producer John Hammond happened to hear Billy sing and was immediately impressed by her raw talent and powerful voice. Despite his enthusiasm, it wasn't until November of that same year that he was able to organize a recording session for her. This led to Billy signing with Columbia Records, launching her successful career as one of the most celebrated jazz singers of all time. Throughout her career, Billie Holiday remained a trailblazer in the jazz world, leaving an indelible mark on both listeners and fellow musicians alike. Her unique style and powerful voice captured the hearts of audiences everywhere, solidifying her status as a timeless musical legend. Billie Holiday's career and personal life were deeply entwined with those of other musicians. She formed a close bond with saxophonist Lester Young, which lasted for many years and was both musical and personal. Their collaboration resulted in some of Holiday's most memorable recordings, reflecting the deep connection they shared. Holiday was also a generous supporter of other female singers. She had great admiration for Ella Fitzgerald and even offered guidance to help launch her career. When Lena Horne first arrived in New York, Holiday took her under her wing, providing support and encouragement during her early days in the city. Although often labeled a blues singer, Holiday's artistry transcended any single genre. Above all else, she was a jazz singer, highly respected for her interpretive abilities. In fact, many industry professionals regard her as one of the greatest interpreters of popular music in history. Count Basie and Artie Shaw both spoke glowingly of her innate understanding of music, while Duke Ellington famously called her the coolest. Despite these accolades, Holiday expressed dissatisfaction with the title of her own biography, feeling that it failed to capture the essence of her contributions to music. Nevertheless, the book remains a valuable source of insight into her remarkable journey through the world of jazz. Her legacy continues to resonate today, inspiring generations of musicians who step into the vibrant landscape she helped shape. As she rose to fame, the music artist Billie Holiday's songs did more than just entertain audiences. They addressed the pressing social issues of her time. Her signature track, Strange Fruit, offered a chilling portrayal of lynching, leaving listeners stunned and speechless. This powerful ballad served as a stark reminder of the racial prejudice faced by black musicians and shed light on the brutal reality of lynching. The author of the book, Strange Fruit, Lillian Smith, found inspiration in Billie Holiday's music. During her tour through the South with Artie Shaw's band, the music artist witnessed the oppressive nature of Jim Crow laws firsthand. Despite achieving great success, she still encountered exploitation and maltreatment from people she had trusted. This iconic singer used her platform to bring awareness to critical societal problems during a challenging period in American history. Through her artistry, Billie Holiday etched herself into musical history while raising consciousness around essential topics that resonated deeply with many Americans. Unfortunately, even after gaining prominence, systemic discrimination continued to impact her personal life and career profoundly. Billie Holiday's personal life was fraught with challenges and complexities. Her relationships were frequently marked by a deep-seated ambivalence towards love, leading to a pattern of self-destructive choices and at times, a touch of masochism. Despite these issues, those close to her professionally held immense affection for the music artist. However, they strongly disapproved of some of her partners, including two men who enabled her addictions, John Levy and Louis McKay. These individuals reportedly not only facilitated the music artist's drug habit, but also exploited her financially. This left Billie Holiday grappling with her vices, while surrounded by people who allegedly contributed to her downfall, rather than helping her recover. Even during periods when her health deteriorated significantly, leading to hospitalization and imprisonment, she could not escape her battles with addiction. A significant turning point came in 1947, when Billie Holiday lost her New York City cabaret license due to her substance abuse problems. While this limited her ability to earn a living through performances, it had an unexpected side effect. 
She began performing in more prestigious venues such as Carnegie Hall, broadening her audience reach and exposure. Yet sadly, her struggles persisted alongside these opportunities. By early 1959, the health of renowned music artist Billie Holiday had taken a turn for the worst. She received a devastating diagnosis, cirrhosis of the liver. The doctors strongly advised her to abstain from alcohol consumption immediately, a challenge she initially overcame for a brief period. However, her struggle with addiction proved too overwhelming, and she fell back into old habits before May arrived. As a result, she experienced severe weight loss, causing concern among those close to her, including friends like Leonard Feather, Joe Glazer, and Alan Morrison. They urged her to admit herself into a medical facility, yet she adamantly refused. Her reluctance to seek assistance eventually led to disastrous implications for her already fragile state of health. On May 31, 1959, paramedics transported Billie Holiday to the Metropolitan Hospital in New York City in critical condition due to advanced stages of both liver and heart diseases. Tragically, the situation worsened when law enforcement arrested her for narcotics possession during her dying moments. To make matters even more distressing, officials conducted a raid on her hospital room. In addition, policemen positioned themselves outside her room entrance, effectively barring visitors from seeing her. Despite fighting against pulmonary edema and heart complications resulting from cirrhosis of the liver, she courageously held on until July 17, 1959. As Billie Holiday approached the end of her life, she found herself in a bleak and desperate situation. Despite having been a successful and acclaimed musician, she had been systematically robbed of her earnings and was left with just 70 cents in the bank and 750 in cash. This financial hardship was made even more tragic by the circumstances of her passing. Billie Holiday died on Friday, July 17, 1959, at Metropolitan Hospital in New York City. She spent her final days in the same hospital bed where she had been arrested for illegal possession of narcotics. A little over a month earlier, as she lay mortally ill, a police guard was stationed outside her room, but was removed by court order only a few hours before her death. The description of Billie's final days is a grim one. At the time of her death, she had wasted away physically and was a mere shadow of her former self. Once strikingly beautiful, she had become a small, grotesque caricature, consumed by the vices of various kinds of excess, with drug addiction being only one of them. It is believed that among Billie's last thoughts was the fear of being arraigned by the following morning. In reality, she may not have been arraigned quite so soon, but her anxiety was understandable given her precarious situation. When she passed away, Billie Holiday was only 44 years old a cynical, sentimental, profane, generous, and highly talented woman who had left an indelible mark on the music industry. Despite her troubled final days, Billie Holiday will always be remembered as a legendary figure in American music. Her voice and style continue to inspire musicians today, and her influence can still be heard in modern interpretations of jazz and blues standards. Although she faced numerous challenges throughout her life, including discrimination, poverty, and substance abuse, she never lost sight of her talent or her passion for making music. Even in her darkest moments, Billie Holiday remained determined to share her gift with the world, and her legacy continues to live on through her recordings and performances. Born April 7, 1915, in Philadelphia, Billie Holiday had humble beginnings. She was raised by her mother, Sadie Fagan, after her father Clarence Holiday abandoned them. The pair moved to Baltimore when Holiday was young. Struggling financially, Fagan worked as a maid, and Holiday often skipped school to entertain herself. At a tender age, Holiday suffered physical abuse from both parents, which led to her running away from home multiple times. During one of these instances, she encountered prostitution and became pregnant at 14. However, it was her love for music that provided solace amidst adversity. Holiday dropped out of school and started performing in local clubs during weekends. Her unique singing style quickly caught people's attention leading her to meet influential figures like saxophonist Kenneth Holland and bandleader Count Basie. They recognized her potential and encouraged her pursuit of a career in music. One fateful day, legendary jazz musician John Hammond discovered Holiday while he was scouting talent for Benny Goodman's band. Impressed by her voice, he arranged an audition for her with Goodman. Although she didn't get the job due to racial prejudice, this encounter marked the beginning of Holiday's professional journey in music. Despite facing numerous obstacles, Holiday persevered, drawing inspiration from artists like Bessie Smith and Louis Armstrong. Their powerful voices left lasting impressions on her. 
shaping her distinctive sound characterized by raw emotion and honesty. Overcoming adversity through tenacity and passion, Holiday paved her way into becoming one of the most iconic jazz singers of all time. Born Eleanor Fagan in Philadelphia on April 7, 1915, Billie Holiday's interest in music began at a young age. After her father abandoned them, she moved to Baltimore with her mother. There, she suffered abuse and neglect, often seeking refuge in local jazz clubs. One night, while hiding from truant officers, she heard the powerful voice of Bessie Smith echoing through the club. Entranced by Smith's commanding stage presence and emotive delivery, Holiday found herself drawn to the art form. She later said, I loved how she made me feel. This experience ignited something within Holiday, a deep connection to music, particularly jazz. As fate would have it, a family friend recognized her potential and encouraged her to pursue singing professionally. At just 14 years old, under the tutelage of pianist Sadie Evans, Billie Holiday started performing in various amateur contests around town. Her unique style caught people's attention, leading to gigs at local bars and nightclubs. By then, there was no turning back. Billie Holiday had fallen deeply in love with music, setting her sails toward a remarkable journey of self-discovery and musical brilliance. Born April 7, 1915, in Philadelphia, Billie Holiday's journey in music was filled with obstacles. Raised in a poor neighborhood, she experienced hardship early on. At the age of 10, her mother got sent to prison, leaving Billie to face adversity alone. To help support herself, she turned to singing in local clubs. However, discrimination was rampant, making it challenging for her to find gigs. Despite these setbacks, Billy persevered, determined to succeed in the music industry. Holiday's unique voice distinguished her from other artists during her initial recording sessions in 1933. Yet, despite her undeniable talent, record labels initially overlooked her due to racial prejudice. Undeterred, she continued honing her craft until she caught the attention of renowned producer John Hammond. This breakthrough opened doors for her career leading to collaborations with esteemed musicians like Count Basie and Artie Shaw. Still, even then, Billy encountered resistance from audiences who were uncomfortable seeing a black woman perform alongside white musicians. Throughout her career, Billy also struggled financially. She often earned less than her male counterparts and had little control over how her royalties were managed. In response, she started demanding higher fees for performances, ensuring fair compensation for her work. Moreover, she took charge of managing her finances by hiring business managers to protect her interests. Billie Holiday transformed the jazz scene through her powerful vocals and emotive storytelling style. But beyond her artistry, her ability to surmount numerous barriers made an indelible mark in music history. Through sheer determination and innovative thinking, she paved the way for future generations of African-American female singers. Undeniably, Billie Holiday's career had several breakthrough moments that showcased her unique talent and left a lasting impression on the music industry. In 1933, she made her recording debut with Benny Goodman, which marked the start of her successful journey in jazz music. Noted producer John Hammond praised her distinctive style, saying her contribution to jazz singing during those years was unmeasurable. One of Holiday's most influential projects was the release of her song Strange Fruit in 1939. This powerful anti-lynching protest ballad revealed her social consciousness and further solidified her status as a trailblazer. According to critic Leonard Feather, Strange Fruit changed the way people thought about both music and civil rights. Holiday's collaboration with composer Arthur Herzog Jr. resulted in the album Lady Sings the Blues, released in 1956. Her deeply emotional performances resonated with audiences and earned praise from fellow musicians like Louis Armstrong, who described her voice as one of the greatest gifts God gave to this country. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her life, Billie Holiday continued to create groundbreaking work until her untimely death in 1959. Saxophonist Lester Young, her frequent collaborator, once said, she's a real artist, she's got everything. Indeed, Holiday's innovative approach to music has left an indelible mark on jazz and popular culture alike. Billie Holiday's artistic vision was deeply intertwined with her life experiences and emotions. She approached her music with raw honesty and vulnerability, often drawing upon painful memories and hardships to create something beautiful and cathartic. Her distinctive voice, characterized by its sadness and soulfulness, became her signature sound. Holiday grew up in difficult circumstances in Baltimore, Maryland, where she faced poverty, abuse, and racism. These early struggles shaped her perspective on the world and influenced her artistry profoundly. She once said, 
I've lived songs more than I've lived my life. This statement reflects how deeply personal each song was for her. They were not just performances but expressions of her inner thoughts and feelings. One example of this can be heard in her rendition of Strange Fruit, a haunting protest song about lynching in America. With its powerful imagery and poignant delivery, it remains one of Holiday's most impactful recordings. Its message resonated with listeners then and continues to do so today, speaking volumes about her commitment to social justice through her music. Another aspect of Holiday's uniqueness lay in her ability to interpret standards written by others, transforming them into deeply intimate experiences. By infusing familiar tunes with new meaning, she made them her own. In doing so, she elevated jazz singing to an art form equal to instrumental improvisation, paving the way for future generations of singers. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, including addiction and legal troubles, Holiday never lost sight of her passion for music. Even during her darkest days, she continued to perform and record, leaving behind a legacy that has inspired countless musicians since. Today, her influence can still be felt not only in jazz but across various genres, making her one of the most enduring figures in American music history. Billie Holiday, born April 7, 1915, was a groundbreaking music artist who significantly contributed to the jazz genre. Her unique voice and emotive delivery set her apart from peers. According to singer and historian Annie Ross, Billy had a way of delivering a song that made you feel she was experiencing every emotion right there on the spot. Holiday introduced new depths of emotional expression into singing. As critic Robert Kreisgau noted, she invented a way of conveying emotion which has become a basic part of American pop technique. She often used irregular phrasing, putting emphasis on unexpected syllables, and pausing dramatically between lines. This unpredictability created a sense of intimacy, making listeners lean in to catch each nuance. Her influence extends beyond mere technicality. Lyrically, Holiday tackled taboo subjects like racism and social inequality. For instance, her performance of Strange Fruit, a harrowing protest against lynching, demonstrated immense courage during an era when challenging racial norms could result in severe backlash. Moreover, Holiday paved the way for future artists by demanding respect and control over her creative process, something rarely seen for women, especially African Americans, in the entertainment industry of the time. Producer Chris Albertson stated, by insisting on doing things her way, Billy opened doors for countless other performers to follow their muse rather than studio dictates. Artists across genres continue to draw inspiration from Holiday's legacy. Singer Amy Winehouse once said, I worshipped her, I love her, because she sounds so sad. Indeed, many musicians appreciate how Holiday could imbue even upbeat tunes with melancholy, creating a rich tapestry of emotions. In conclusion, through innovative techniques, brave lyricism, and trailblazing professional conduct, Billie Holiday revolutionized popular music, leaving behind a profound impact still resonating today. Billie Holiday, born Eleanor Fagan on April 7, 1915, in Philadelphia, had a difficult childhood, but was deeply influenced by her mother's love for music. As a young girl, she found solace in singing and dancing, often performing in local clubs. Despite facing adversity early on, including poverty and periods of homelessness, Holiday's passion for music remained strong. She once said, I've been told that I don't sing like anyone else, that my voice is different. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that I've always tried to be true to myself. This commitment to authenticity became a hallmark of both her life and career. Throughout her adult years, Holiday used her platform to advocate for civil rights and social justice issues. In particular, she was outspoken against racial discrimination and actively supported the NBACP. Her song Strange Fruit, which powerfully addressed the issue of lynching in America, served as an anthem for the civil rights movement. Though it caused controversy upon its release in 1939, Strange Fruit remains one of Holiday's most celebrated works due to its unapologetic stance on racism and inequality. Holiday also struggled with drug addiction throughout her life, eventually succumbing to cirrhosis of the liver brought on by alcohol abuse in 1959. However, even during her darkest times, she continued to perform and record music, never losing sight of her artistic vision. According to friend and fellow musician Tony Scott, she gave everything she had every time she sang. There wasn't anything left when she walked off the stage. Despite passing away at just 44 years old, Billie Holiday's impact on jazz and popular music cannot be overstated. With her unique phrasing, emotional depth, and powerful storytelling abilities, 
she paved the way for countless musicians who followed in her footsteps. Moreover, through her advocacy for marginalized communities and her willingness to confront societal issues head on, she demonstrated that artists have a responsibility to speak up for what they believe in, a legacy that continues to resonate today. Billie Holiday's musical legacy continues to shape the industry even today. Her innovative approach to singing jazz standards, combined with her ability to imbue raw emotion into every note, set her apart from her contemporaries. Centuries after her passing, artists still draw inspiration from her work. Holiday was unafraid to tackle challenging subjects through her music, addressing themes like racial inequality and social justice. She used her platform to raise awareness about critical issues plaguing society during her time, leaving behind a powerful message for future generations. For those looking to follow in Holiday's footsteps, she offers some valuable advice. Stay true to yourself and never shy away from expressing your emotions honestly. Mastering technical skills is essential, but it's equally crucial to connect deeply with your audience by sharing personal stories and experiences. The future of music lies in blending tradition with innovation, while maintaining respect for past legends like Holiday. By doing so, we can honor their memory and contribute meaningfully to the ongoing evolution of the art form. Remember, each new artist adds another thread to the rich tapestry of music history, creating something beautiful and unique along the way. Billie Holiday's journey in the music industry was one filled with passion and innovation. Born Eleanor Fagan on April 7, 1915, in Philadelphia, she would grow up to become a symbol of jazz and soul. As a young girl, she found solace in music, particularly the records of Bessie Smith and Louis Armstrong. This early exposure ignited her passion for singing, leading her to perform in local clubs as a teenager. Holiday's unique style set her apart from other artists of her time. She bent notes and played with phrasing, creating an intimate connection between herself and her listeners. Her innovative approach transformed songs like Strange Fruit into powerful social commentaries, leaving a lasting impact on both the listener and the industry. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, including racism, sexism, and addiction, Holiday never lost sight of her love for music. Even when confronted by adversity, she continued to create and inspire, refusing to let obstacles hinder her artistic expression. Through sheer determination and creative grit, she paved the way for future generations of musicians. Billie Holiday's legacy continues to resonate today. Her music transcends time, still touching audiences deeply with its raw emotion and undeniable artistry. Reflecting on her life and career serves as a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. In the face of hardship, Holiday proved that passion and dedication can leave an indelible mark on the world. As we delve into the life and music of Billie Holiday, one can't help but admire her unique style and powerful voice. Born April 7, 1915, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Holiday began singing in nightclubs as a teenager. By the late 1930s, she had already recorded hits like Strange Fruit and God Bless the Child. Her ability to convey raw emotion through her songs left a lasting impact on jazz and popular music. Even when facing personal struggles and discrimination, Holiday continued to create groundbreaking work until her untimely death in 1959. Now it's your turn. Share your favorite Billie Holiday moments or memories in the comments below. Let us know which songs resonated with you the most and how they have shaped your appreciation for music. If you enjoyed our tribute to this legendary artist, don't forget to hit the like button, share this post with friends, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories about the creators who've made entertainment what it is today. Together, let's celebrate these remarkable individuals who continue to influence generations of artists and fans alike. So go ahead, step into the captivating world of Billie Holiday. We promise you won't be disappointed.